Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look and see how much of the radiation that carbon dioxide is able to absorb can reach an altitude of one kilometer, which is about 3,300 feet above the surface. Still not all that high, but notice the results. This ent entire band of radiation is completely absorbed. Virtually 0% of it is transmitted, except a few small little transmission windows where a very tiny percentage of the radiation coming from the surface of the Earth within a band of about 13.3 micrometers to about 17.4 micrometers, just those small little windows is a small percentage that still makes it to an elevation of 1,000 meters without completely being absorbed, but virtually everything else in this band is being absorbed. Now you can see here that the percentage transmission continues to increase and reaches almost 100% transmission by the time we have the wave number at about 550 uh, waves per centimeter, which is at about 18 micrometers. And then you can see there's another harmonic that appears over here, and there's another harmonic over here with another R branch right there, and the P branch is not quite seen on this curve. As you can see that there's additional harmonics that will be absorbed in the bending mode of the carbon dioxide molecule in such a way that the band at which carbon dioxide becomes effective begins to widen even more. But notice at this point we're already one kilometer up in the atmosphere and there's not too much absorption going on here. Virtually everything is still being transmitted here and being transmitted there. So we'll have to go even higher in the atmosphere to see how much of an effect these two regions play in the ability of carbon dioxide to absorb the energy such that the energy is not being transmitted directly into space but absorbed and then banged around between the various molecules before it slowly leaks off into space. So in our next video we'll go all the way up to 10 kilometers to see what portion of the atmosphere is absorbed by carbon dioxide and how quickly it's absorbed. Notice Quite a bit of it is absorbed at very low elevations, but for some of the uh, wavelengths that are farther to the right and farther to the left from the central 15 micrometer band here, you can see that some of that makes it up quite a bit up in the atmosphere before it finally becomes absorbed by carbon dioxide. So we'll do one more graph up at 10 kilometers to get a full picture of the absorption capability of the carbon dioxide molecule.